Thank you very much for the opportunity to speak. I am truly honored and I have a lot on my mind. Every day, we are bombarded with a stream of negativity, fear, hatred, and there seems to be no escape. For some, it's the end of the world. People have lost faith in humanity. We are constantly at war with everything. We're about to embark on a really, really rough journey in a very not nice world, but there's still hope. The way I see it, each rising generation has a plethora of opportunities available to them. They just have to choose to pursue them. Sure, there are cultural differences and social unrest surrounding each era that make each generation unique. Wars, revolutions, movements, and more. But nonetheless, each generation is invited to step up and take their place at the table or refuse it. They work hard, make the most of their time, and then enjoy a pleasant retirement. That retirement can be made unpleasant very quickly thanks to more social unrest and the lack of initiative on the younger generation's part. How many times am I going to say the word generation in this speech? <laughs> the point is, old people are always counting on the young people, and right now many people have lost faith in humanity because the current generation, nicknamed millennials, have gained a reputation for laziness and bad taste. <laughs> Millennial stereotypes tend to bubble to the surface. Despite the fact that we're not even millennials, we are the post-millennial generation. We still get these stereotypes forced upon us. Can't put our phones down, won't get a job, swear constantly, and are going to live in our parents' basement while paying off calamitous student debt. Overall, society thinks we lack self-sufficiency and it's all gonna be downhill from there. We're gonna be failures, right? Wrong, I don't see it that way. In the wise words of Albus Dumbledore, it matters not what someone is born, but what they grow to be. If you don't know already, I have a small reputation for my Harry Potter obsession, so this isn't the last Dumbledore quote. <laughs> anyway, though I have not been with you guys since kindergarten, I've still seen immense growth in the class of 2018. We still have a chance to make lives for ourselves, accomplish our dreams, be successful, develop our talents, and make change in the world. It is our choices that define who we really are far more than our abilities. Also Dumbledore. <laughs> because of the class of 2018, I still have faith in humanity and hope for a better future. And there are several reasons I believe this. First, our class is witty, clever, and very efficient. That's just a positive way to say we are lazy and we are procrastinators. But I don't find laziness and procrastination a bad thing as long as you practice moderation. Here's what I mean. A wise employer will put the laziest teenager on their most tedious job because they'll find the most efficient way to do it. We have literally the worst sense of humor, but it's still humor and we can use it to make each other smile. Yes, I'm talking about memes. Whether it's Tide Pods, Yodel Boy, Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. Memes are so illogical and should not be funny. But in the right context and with the right audience, us, they're just hilarious. And we can instantaneously share it with each other and share it with our best friends to make them smile. Our humor, though it is the worst sense of humor, unites us. I've seen passion in the class of 2018. Whether it's passion for acting, music, sports, engineering, service, faith, or whatever it is you love, I've seen how much you love it. We all have big dreams, but it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live. Passion is what turns our dreams into reality. Passion is what keeps us going. Love and passion are the world's greatest motivators. If we only have a passion for something, something that just calls for us, we will fight to keep it in our lives. The key to a happy and successful life is pursuing your passion. If you found your passion, pursue it, and you won't end up as some lame post-millennial in your parents' basement. <laughs> Follow your passion, and everything else will fall into place. Individuality. I have met some very strong classmates who at the age of only 17 or 18 are already confident in who they are and have a strong sense of individuality. They figured it out and have decided to be themselves. I hope that never changes. 
And for those still trying to figure it out, there's nothing more dignified and noble than being yourself. Do what, don't do what everyone else is doing. Don't let your friends pressure you into doing something you don't want to. Do what makes you happy. It takes a great deal of bravery to stand up to your enemies, and even more to stand up to your friends. My all-time favorite Dumbledore quote is, happiness can be found even in the darkest of times, if only one remembers to turn on the light. I would use this quote as the main theme of my speech and teach this all to you, but you are already living it. I've seen countless random acts of kindness and service done by the class of 2018. Despite everything that's happened this year, I've seen the class of 2018 come together and lift each other up in a way that no school has ever truly seen before. We shine, and it is truly remarkable. And you make me proud to live in this day and age. You give me hope. I'd like to thank you all once again for this opportunity to speak. I'd like to thank all the teachers and adults and friends who have supported me. I'd like to thank my parents who never doubted me. And I'd like to thank J.K. Rowling for writing Harry Potter and creating the character Hermione. She's the reason I'm standing here today, because a nine-year-old me decided I would base all of my life decisions on what Hermione would do. <laughs> and I'd like to reiterate once more that despite all the trials we have faced this year, all the pain and tragedy, and the weight of the world on our shoulders, I still have faith in humanity because of you guys. Well, as Fred Weasley said, I think we've outgrown full-time education. Time to test our talent in the real world, do you reckon? Look out, world, because we are so much more than what we see. It looks like the doors of opportunity are before us. Aloha, Mora. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>